Hi there, this is the second video in my laws of indices videos so if you haven't already seen negative uh, indices I suggest you go and have a look at that first. We're now looking at multiplication and division rules. You'll notice in each of these examples that the base, the larger number, is always the same and these will only work if the base is the same. If you have a situation where you're doing two different bases and, and indices then don't worry about that one because you just need to do 7 squared and 3 cubed and multiply the two numbers together there's no way you can simplify that without just basically working it out get rid of that so we're going to have a look at these ones with the same bases and see if we can simplify them and just write them as powers it becomes a particularly important tool when you're working at A level um, and this obviously comes up at GCSE. Right, so if we start off with 4 cubed times 4 squared. Now, you may be able to work both of those numbers out and multiply them together with or without a calculator, but we need to also be able to simplify. So that's what we'll be asked to do. Simplify. Um, now, I'm going to write this out in a quite a long way in order for, so you can understand it but there's a, a simpler way to, to simplify at the end. So we've got 4 cubed, which is 4 times 4 times 4, and that is being multiplied by 4 squared, which is 4 times 4. And you can see from that that we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 4s all multiplied together. And you should spot at this point that the two powers we started with add together to give that one there. So actually we can just go straight to it's the same as 4 cubed times 4 squared will be 4 to the power of whatever the two powers are added together. And that's the quick way of doing it and this is an explanation of why. If we've got some awkward things like negative powers then we'll just have a look at this one here. So we've got 6 to the power 5 and that's being multiplied by 6 to the power of minus 3. Now if you think back to the previous video 6 to the minus 3 is the same as 1 over 6 to the power of 3 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 6 to the power 3 as 6 times 6 times 6 just extend that fraction there. Now that's exactly the same as taking, if we multiply these together you can write it like this. So we've got 6 to the power 5 divided by 6 to the power 3 now because of that negative power. Now what that means is that we've got 6 divided by 6 times 6 divided by 6 times 6 divided by 6 and then we've got two more sixes multiplied on the end. This here, 6 divided by 6 is 1, 6 divided by 6 is 1, 6 divided by 6 is 1. You may be more familiar with saying we cancel out the sixes, just thought on this occasion it would be worth pointing out they don't technically cancel out, it's just that 6 over 6 is 1. So we've got 1 times 1 times 1 times 6 times 6, which means that we end up with essentially 6 times 6 which is 6 squared and you'll notice that if we do 5 plus negative 3 we get 2. So if I just write that out again 6 to the power of 5 times 6 to the minus 3 we can just do 6 to the power 5 plus negative 3 which is 6 to the power 2. So for both my multiplications, you can just add the two powers together. You can probably predict what's going to happen with the division, but let's just check it. So for this one, we've got 4 to the power of 3 divided by 4 to the power of 2. So I've written that out as 4 times 4 times 4 divided by, and written as a fraction, 4 times 4. 
So that means we've got 1 times 1 times 4. So that's just coming out as 4, or if you like, 4 to the power 1. So if we're dividing powers, what you can see is that we're doing the first power, take away the second, and that's how we get our 4 to the power 1, which is 4. I'm just going to check it with our next one as well. So for this one we've got 6 to the power 5, and that's divided by 6 to the minus 3. Now it can get quite complicated here if I start talking about dividing by 1 over 6 to the power 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the pattern and use the rule to make my task a little bit more straightforward. So I'm going to go straight to the rule. Well, it's a dividing with indices. The bases are the same. So it means that I'm doing 6 to the power and I take away the powers because I'm dividing. Minus negative 3. Careful with your two negatives. So that's 6 to the power 5 plus 3. Because if you take away a negative, it's like adding. So I take away an insult, you feel better. And we get 6 to the power 8 as our final answer. So for this last one, I didn't go through the explanation because I felt it was just better to see the rule applied in that way. There's a variety of questions at the bottom for you to have a go at. Strongly suggest you uh, have a go at those. And then the next video summarizes the rules and goes through the answers. So I hope you have a look at the, the next video. Uh, just a quick summary. Multiplication is adding the powers and division. You subtract the powers. I hope that helps you out. Have a go at the questions below and have a look at the next video for the answers.